Greetings everyone, welcome back to Geon Sims, I'm George. If you've already mastered the F-18C startup sequence, it's time to take it a step further, putting navigation into practice. Today, we're setting up tackle navigation from our carrier departure to Andoya Airfield, using nothing but instruments, no VFR, which is pure instrument flying. And if you missed my full F-18C startup tutorial, make sure to check it out, it'll get your mission ready from cold and dark. Links are in the description below and in the pinned comment. I'll walk you through setting up Tacon on the UFC and HSI, intercepting our course line for a 320 runway approach, and flying through low visibility conditions. After departure from the carrier, we'll climb out and set a general heading towards Andoya Airfield. Once established, we'll transition to intercepting the runway course line, aligning ourselves with the final approach heading using TAC and guidance. Illustrated here is the runway heading, 320. In order to find that, click on the airfield and F10 map and you'll find the TAC and frequency. The TAC and frequency will be 28 X-ray, reference Oscar Yankee Alpha. And in order to find that, you simply go in the F10 menu, find the selected runway, and simply zoom in, scroll until you find where you're looking for. In this case, we're going to select runway 32. All right then, let's get started. It's not as demanding as it first seems, and I'll walk you through it step by step. By the end of this, you'll be setting up and flying tack and approaches with confidence. Just ensure to have HSI set up one of your MFDs and make note of where your course toggle switch is here. So first of all, press the tack and switch, then press the on switch. Typical with DCS, you might have to press it a couple of times. Enter the tack and frequency, which is 28 X-ray, press enter. You'll notice on the left MFD on the HSI where the tack has now locked. Now let's zoom into the MFD and see how the symbology works. Once Takan has been switched on, you'll notice the heading point starts rotating. Now here you can see clearly where the Takan beacon symbol has locked in place. Ensure to press the Takan OSB. Remember the course select toggle switch. You can flick this right or left in order to find the heading you're searching for. In this case, 320. And that now, ladies and gents, is about as difficult as it needs to be. Of course, we'll go through some symbology. Keep an eye here on the HUD, where the velocity vector is, and you'll see the course line. Of course, here, we just need to guide the aircraft symbol onto the course line. Can't believe how much DCS has improved over the years. It's beautiful. So keep an eye on the velocity vector. Look at the arrow there. Heading on course. The ride will get a bit bumpy later. That's the whole reason I set up bad weather so that we don't have to rely on VFR. All right, here's a perfect opportunity to show you the symbology on the HUD. Here is the course line, and here are the tack and course deviation reference points. And here is the indicator for the nautical mile distance to the TACAN.
now it becomes evident that you should keep the tack and bearing pointer between those deviation points. Now ideally to set up a good landing I should have the velocity vector somewhat in the middle or lower part of that E bracket there. However as this weather is not forgiving at all, it ended up being a pretty bumpy ride on the way in. Here you can just about make out where the runway is. Setting up for final here was really not easy, it was pretty bumpy. However you can see where I've got the velocity vector lined up now, just to bring us smoothly in, or as smooth as it could be, you'll see that by the landing. Evidently Tacken isn't just for clear skies, it's one of the most critical navigation tools which you can use, especially when the weather turns bad like this. Hopefully this has enabled you to do the same. If you want to keep building your skills, subscribe and stay tuned. Next up we'll dive into ECM systems and countermeasures to keep you alive in hostile airspace. Awesome, I managed to keep the landing gears intact for a change.
Chief, really? No steps again? I guess I'll have to jump down again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here then for a while. Guys, thanks to those of you who have liked and subscribed already. If you haven't, please do it would really help me to do more of these videos. And I'm enjoying it so far. Catch you in the next one.